What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So today I have an Eldane deck for you guys. Um, Eldane is by no means new. Um, in terms of new cards that we got from Crimson Curse uh, for Eldane, uh, we got two cards. Uh, the main one is the Great Oak. This card is much, much, much better than I thought. Uh, I was a little skeptical about the card, but it's really, really good. Uh, it allows you to secure round one if you need to. Long round ones, uh, it is like a 16 point card in the long round one. Um, or if you don't win round one, and your opponent bleeds you, it's really, really good. A lot of the times when my opponents do bleed me, I typically go a card up on my opponent because uh, they don't take this card into account. The only other card that we got uh, is Scepter of Storms, um, otherwise known as Sticky Dagon. This allows you to choose one of three effects. Um, typically, it's just as good as a Fog, so why on earth would you play this for eight? Well, it's an artifact, so you can play it on the board, so Great Oak counts it as plus one, which isn't terrible. Um, it can also be pulled out with Avalok the Sage, which is an extra bonus effect. Um, yeah, and honestly, I had the provisions. I, n none of these bronzes are really suboptimal. I had the provisions. It was either this or Fog for seven, and then that one extra P I couldn't utilize elsewhere. So why not? Um, yeah, it's a pretty good card. Um, the only scenario where you use this for, like, Frost is maybe against Neckers, um, or Milva. Granted, in some games I do forget, and I still fog Milva because it's just a bad habit. Typically you fog because that's just how you get most value out of a card, usually. Uh, but against Milva, Frost is usually the best. Um, so yeah, I'll go over the list super quickly. Uh, it doesn't really play much differently than any other Eldane deck. Uh, try to push and win round one. Play Summoning Circle in round one, uh, if you can go long. Whether or not you can go long in round one is contingent on two cards, uh, Summoning Circle, but most of the time it's Crushing Trap. If you don't have a Crushing Trap in round one uh, and you lost Coin Flip and you're going first, you're probably not going to win a long round one if you do not have Summoning Circle or Crushing Trap or Great Oak. If you have none of those three cards, you're not going to win a long round one. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah. So depending on your hand, it's going to determine how you push. Uh, it is a very... I don't know. I, I want to say hard to play deck in that um, if you do lose round one, you can just lose the game if you get bled out. So like timing on cards is super, super key. Uh, if you've played Aldane decks in the past, you'll like you, the timing will be down. You'll understand the timing. Um, but otherwise, you, you might have a hard time with it at the start. All right. So I'll run through the list super quickly. Aldane is great leader. Uh, it takes your traps and gives you plus three. Uh, the plus three is important because they're also elves. Um, elves are very strong because you get extra value with Isengrim and you can, of course, pull out Elrin. Uh, Great Oak, I mentioned, super strong card. I'll block the Sage. You can play this or Gambit. I prefer this because Gambit is not really a good card with Crushing Trap. Or, sorry, not Crushing Trap, Incinerating Trap. Um, Gambiting into Incinerating Trap just feels terrible. Um, I'll block the Sage allows me to get exactly what I want when I want, and it has the plus side of being an elf, which is never bad, which means I can call of the forest and I'll block the Sage in round one or any round. So I, I think it's better. You can also use this and pull out Summoning Circle or Scepter of Storm. So there's a ton of flexibility on this card. Uh, big fan of the card, good card. Dragon, just a good card. It's a proactive card. Uh, typically in round three, you're looking at playing a bunch of traps and like Oak or traps and Isengrim. So uh, having a giant immune unit is very strong. Call of the Forest, really good with Alan. Yeah. Uh, you can no longer call the forest on the dead eyes and then summoning circle them back out. CDPR got rid of that, so don't try to do that. Typically, your call of the forest is going to be on Alien or just a high priority gold card in round three. Or or one, I guess. Alien, just a good card. Isengrim, good card. Yorvith, very good to replay traps. Summoning circle uh, thins your deck in round one, allows you to get bonus value out of cards like Crushing Trap because you can play like a Dragoon. Um, sometimes I combo this with like a Elven Scout. So I'll play an Elven Scout and I'll play an Incinerating Trap in the same turn and like it'll automatically proc or I'll play like Crushing Trap, right? So there's a lot of flexibility um, in the mirror. I shouldn't say this, but I'll say it anyways. Uh, if you do cue the mirror, the most important card to save for round three is this card right here, Summoning Circle. Um, because you can deny your opponent Pitfall Trap. When your opponent plays Pitfall Trap, you play Summoning Circle and you Basically, deny their Pitfall Trap. This card's really, really good in the mirror, so don't play Summoning Circle in round one in the mirror. Uh, Pitfall, self-explanatory, great trap, great trap. Uh, we talked about this a little earlier. It's an eight for eight, and it gives plus one on Great Oak. It's not bad. Just a good card. Uh, if you think you can find a better card, you are more than welcome to. 
Crushing Trap, good trap. Incinerating Trap, not a great trap, but you just need to play as many traps as possible because of your leader. Archer, good card, good against uh, Neckers, good against killing stuff. It's just a good card in general. Dragoon, really good with Crushing Trap. Elven Swordmaster, um, it's just an engine. If your opponent removes it, it's not a big deal. If it sticks, it's great, right? That's kind of the idea of the card. Uh, and if they do remove it, it increases the odds that your Elven Scout are going to live. And your, uh, your Elven Scout's living is pretty important. Elven Scout, great card with traps. Neophyte, great card with uh, any kind of elf deck that runs Aileran and Isengrim. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward deck. Um, I have run like Curse of Corruption in the past instead of like Scepter of Storms. My issue with this is a lot of matchups, it bricks or like you have to COC like a five and it's really, really awkward. So I, I wouldn't play Curse of Corruption in this type of deck. Like sure, Curse of Corruption in theory is really good against monsters, but this deck can actually beat monsters because of Oak. Uh, this deck can win matchups that normally it had no business winning because of this card. So uh, yeah, I have a few games today. I think I have one game against Adzakov, which was fun. It was the first game of the day. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the deck, and I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> uh, first game of the day, how's it called? Uh, okay, I gotta set up. That's not the button to go up. That's the button. Second, I don't know. Probably shouldn't be playing this deck. Is it immune woodland? It might be. If we can bait a Nithril on this, I highly doubt it. But it can't hurt. My uh, chat wasn't loading. So I missed any of the initial conversations. Alright, so we're losing our Neophyte in two turns, which is fine. We have to win this round. If we don't win the round, we lose the game. That's typically how these matches work. He keeps bleeding my cards. So, does anybody know this interaction? Does Aelorn come out first? Before the Neophyte bleeds? Does anybody just randomly know this interaction off the top of their head? Because I have no idea. I guess we'll find out.
Alright, I need you guys to keep an eye out. Does Aelorn come out first or does the bleed tick first? Okay. I went first. Good to know. It goes left to right, but it doesn't go left to right because the neophyte was to the left of Aelor and, and it still went off. So it's Aelor first, bleed last. Pogu isn't working. I want the other Pogu. No, there's another Pogu that's better. It's working? No, 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 it's all uppercase. There's Pog U with like uppercase P and then OG and then uppercase U and then there's all uppercase. And it's better, but it doesn't work. At least it doesn't work on my screen. Oh, is it working? Did it refresh? It wasn't working before. I guess I have to update. We'll pull out another. You shall taste of your own medicine. Oh, is it working? No, it doesn't work yet. This is so silly, I can't pass. It's only worth 10, it brings me a 35. That's really awkward. I'm so sad. So this is literally my last trap. So I guess we're fulfilling Cause like, I don't need this. <laughs> or, I only need one Eldane tick for this. <laughs> well, we're winning on even, so I mean, I should be happy about that, right? I probably should not have put the crushing here. Eh. I mean, it's only bad if he has exactly four damage in hand. You guys notice that our first game of the day is against Azakov? You guys notice that? <laughs> Alright, so we went on even, which is nice, but... Like, he still has Woody for 8. That's good. I need Yorvith, and I need my Tree Boy. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds good. Alright, what else do we want? I want... Dragon. Give me Dragon and Archers. Dragon and Archer. Good? Give me another Archer. Very nice. Pre-recorded? I mean... Yeah. Did you go to Hogwarts? No, I taught at Hogwarts. It's whether you put this on the front or back. I put it on the back if I think he plays Neckers. Because I need to roast stack aggressively. But I think he has Drowners. I don't think he plays Neckers.
Dagon stick? No, sticky Dagon. Oh, he's blowing Woody now. It's probably correct. Name of the song? I listen to it every day. There you go. Griffin or Slytherin? What if I want to be Hufflepuff, hmm? Hmm? What if I want to be Hufflepuff? He played this well. He's got like two shitty bronzes to throw into my pitfall. Because the problem is, like, you can gauge that this is always Pit Trap, because I had to play all my uh, other traps in round one, which is really bad. I don't think we win this. We'll see. I mean, we're card up, which means, like, we should be able to win, but at the same time, yeah. I don't know. On the off chance that he has a special in hand like Wrath, we play this a turn early. He played it really well. Oh, it's a different trap. Who is this funny streamer? Pog. You still win, though. Pog. You. Huh. Raver241, thank you for the six months. Who is this funny streamer? I don't know. You'll have to look elsewhere. Thank you, man. Welcome back. We beat Azakov with Aldane. Aldane OP? Confirmed. Stats don't lie? Yeah, unless they're not updated. If the stats aren't updated, then they lie all the time. You silly. Poison could actually be decent, right? Because you can rip poison with circle. No! That's cheating. Only I get to move your cards. Any chance of usurper today? Yeah, I could play usurper. It's a good song. Um, Usurper today. I don't know. Usurper. Maybe. 
I don't know if it's better than like Morvin or Anna though, which is the problem. I don't know how deep I want to go. I think we can we can afford to go a tiny bit deeper. Do you watch Game of Thrones? No. I don't know. Like, it's ballsy to pass on this because, like, if he passes out, he loses the game. But I don't think people snipe at high rank. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, maybe that's incorrect. No, I didn't watch Game of Thrones because I find it boring. I don't know. I watched season one and I didn't like it, so I didn't keep watching. You can deface all you want. It's not going to change my opinion. <laughs> Just a heads up. I, I think it's too slow. I don't like Pitfall in round two. We're getting bled! Normally we're okay because we have Oak, but with no Oak, getting bled is actually scary. Ah, Shiza. <laughs> I see if we can kill this Melba. <laughs> I mean, I can win a fifty-fifty, right? Yeah. Yeah. This way, if he puts a unit on the front row, it gets bopped. So it still dies. I don't understand that play though. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's a different trap. Pumpkin ga. Pumpkin ga. Budatov, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Get some poggers in chat. Why are we papigaing? Don't papiga chat. Is this worth? 20... Not enough. They'll play it anyways. I don't know, we didn't actually have to blow that much. We blew, I mean, we blew Dragon, Sticky, Ava. Yeah, it's fine. We just need to draw Oak and I think we win this game. Cause he blew his leader. If we can draw a couple traps and Oak, I think we're fine. Okay, now I just need a couple traps. By couple, I mean exactly crushing trap. Mm-hmm. 
There's something inside you. Now we will see who is weak. Okay. Uh -huh. Special prize. Mm -hmm. Just begin life. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Our brothers in the valleys need us. Kind of unfortunate. I'm so sad. Only one Eldane picked. Oh, it's a different trap. Hi, Dad. Oh, hello. Are we gonna win this game? I think we do. Sour Pussing, thank you for the three months. Hello. Feel any burning? See nice! Alright, cool. Does Ida pop first or Pitfall? Pitfall, always. Because Pitfall says before, are we gonna hit our new high record with this deck? Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, I can make another clickbait YouTube video. Pumpkin beats Adzakov. Was the last one against Adzakov too? <laughs> Just gonna have a compilation of all my different games against Adzakov. <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I have Dana versus Adzikov. Now we have Eldane versus Adzikov. Tomorrow, we're going to have Philip Vandral versus Adzikov. The day after, we're going to have Francesca. We're going to do all the leaders. My goal is to be Adzikov with every single leader in the game. <laughs> it will be done. We'll have done it all. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Uh, because you can pull your over 30 trap whenever you- Yeah, but the points on Eldane is just more. Stop bullying? Nah, it's not bully. He has more wins than I do. New leader? Ice? Nah, Ice isn't new. He's old. Let us sing the song of steel! Even Aridin? No, not Aridin. Aridin's never happening. The streamer is weird. Oh, hey, Apollo. Yeah, I played Caustic last night. That was a nightmare. He's so big. Like, I'm just, you know, minding my own business, and then, like, four bullets out of nowhere fly through the air with no target intended. All four of them hit me in the chest, and I'm like, hmm. Way too big. Way too big. He's just a big. F mm. Not fun to play. Not gonna play him. Nope. I'm gonna stick to Octane. I, I tried playing like Bloodhound and then I started getting shot at. And I was like, alright, we're gonna run away. I don't wanna scan nearby enemies. This is useless. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I'm just gonna play Octane. No, no one else. Every, just play Octane. Every, everything else sucks. All the other characters are too slow. Once you go to Octane, you can never go back. <laughs> He's got a nut on it. We need to ping it down so the nut doesn't kill Sword Boy. You just need more time. I know, but I'm not willing to spend the time. He's too big. You know, sometimes it's just too big and you just, like you, you could spend time and get used to it or him. But in this case, nah.
You shall taste of your own medicine. Hey, Shake Ron, how's it going? I don't really want to pull Ailer now. I mean, we're a few points behind. Implying Octane is anywhere close to as speedy as Path? Path? Pathfinder? I mean... Octane is faster than Pathfinder. Period. Now, does Pathfinder have more mobility? That's a different story, but in terms of speed, Octane is faster. But but Pathfinder giant, he's so big. I don't I don't like large hitboxes. What? Nah. Who dares? I mean, we can abuse him, right? We just play this. If he plays another card, we slam horn and win the game. Because he can never pass, we just take Caldwell. Right? Doesn't matter if he's flying, he can't be hit. Yeah, but if I'm Octane, I can fly across the ground. Also, picking up teammates is so easy as Octane. You do like drive-bys. And pick up people. Yeah. He respects it. He respects my giant horn. I actually want to hit it. Because if we can steal it, it means we're not getting Hyalied for 10. I mean, he has a 12. I guess we're getting Hyalied for 12. Doesn't really matter. What was the update? I honestly have no idea. I mean, we can call this Kappa. I don't know. I kind of want the pitfall and the sticky. All right, we just have to hit one of these four cards. I mean, how hard can it be, right? Easy. We have, okay, I have to do math. We're gonna be yanking Ellern at some point, so that's gonna count for a card for uh, Oak. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, twelve is bigger than nine, so I think we're gonna play this back here. Actually, if he plays a ton of removal, how many traps do we have? Because what we can do, hold on. This is pulling out a trap. So one, two, three, four. We have four traps. Five traps. So we actually don't have to preempt a flip on horn. The question is, do we play around Gimpy? Because if he has one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. So like, if he removes every unit I play for the rest of the game, I'm supposed to play this on the front row. I don't know. It, it's too hard to say, I think. It's hard to say. Go over it. Another? Dude, when was this one updated? Meta snapshot number seven. April 16th, yesterday. Dude, they update this like every single day. Oh, everything is tier two apparently. Like, literally everything is tier 2. Why is Phil Evangel tier 3? Nani? Alright. Why is Phil a tier 3? Phil is not tier 3. Ay ay ay. You put Deathwish and Phil Evangel in the same tier. It's pretty Papiga. 
I don't know how I want to run this. This game's hard. I'm roping so much, I love it. I'm roping a little too much for my liking. The problem is, like, I could wait a turn, play Kushi, and get this to flip over for five, but he has Kali, so he's always popping it with Kali, so I'm not too worried, I don't think. Making new players' life more miserable? No, it's not more miserable. Like, if anything, it's probably best not to put Phil at a high tier for new players. Because playing Phil Evandrel, it's not that it's hard to play Phil Evandrel, it's just if you don't know that you're supposed to pass on three cards into the round one, you're going to have a bad time. Um, that, that information is very important. Um, so it might actually best be best that it's not a high tier. You're not gonna flip it? What do you mean? I feel like that's a little greedy. Maybe it's just me. Whatever. It's... It is intuitive to pass. People will learn the hard way, but it won't take many games. Sure, sure. Well, I wouldn't say it's intuitive to pass three cards in and use fill around two. I don't think that's intuitive. I don't think the average person is going to figure that out unless you tell them. The Art of Gwen is really awesome and often really meaningful, even outside. Oh, we finally did it. Uh, really meaningful, even outside the Witcher universe. I'm a musician working on my solo album and notice that certain card arts convey my vision for my album cover art. So I'm wondering if the card arts are strictly copyright protected against use. Uh... I know we can use music. They're okay with us using music. So like, if I wanna play YouTube music and not get it like copyright striked or whatever, I can do that. Which is really nice of them. Slaughter them to a man! What if Aldane is secretly bad? Well, I mean, I'd be too surprised. I don't know. I don't think he's that bad, but he's kind of fun. He's cute, you know? Every now and then you just want to play a cutie, you know? You just, you just, you want to play that cutie. Nothing wrong with being a cutie. Was that the regular Aldane or with skin? This is with skin. Alright, so we're at five. We need to leave two slots for this, so we need to go max seven. So we're at five. This is gonna take up a spot. So this is six. So Oi! Oh. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's cracked, I guess. Enough of this farce. Bedry, Enray!
I don't know. Maybe we can sneak in a debate. All right, so we're ripping Neophytes with um, Circle. And we're playing Oki with it as well. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. All right, these little shitters are gonna kill my cards, so I need to actually row stack on this row, I think. They're gonna pop my units. Six damage, yeah. Okay. Fine. Any counter for this deck? This one? No, there's no counter. This deck is uncounterable. It's completely busted. You should nerf it. Please nerf. Read a plus. I shall not fail. Hold on. Three, six, seven, eight. Right head sparley. He shall drive oh. the ape man into the sea. Dude, this Yada is getting, like, shafted. Three, six, seven. Who wants to taste Skellige Steel? One hundred percent win rate, boys. Hundred percent. Oh, 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 oh! All right, we gotta win one more game. We can. I want to crack twenty-five fifty. I want to crack it. We're so close. We're so close. We've been twenty-four forty-seven, twenty-four forty-eight, and this is the second time I've been twenty-four forty-eight. We're one game away for the third time. What are you doing in my wood? A high rank and a player. Just gonna get locked. <laughs> A little aggressive, but I like it aggressive. Are you new on Discord? <clears throat> Not yet. Your attention, please. I shall now speak. Just anything but dragon. It's fine. So, the way this is gonna work, I need to blow oak in round one. Cause I don't want it to get anid in round three. So I, I, I think we wanna blow oak in round one. 
All right, I'll put it this way. I am not against the idea of blowing oak in round one. Death here for Dwan. I don't have horny in hand, right? I mean, I guess we can get it with call if I really wanted to. Nani? No. They can hide, but there is no escape. Why are you playing that card? Assassination and Anna? Cool. Time for a beating! Oh wow. That's pretty good actually. To them to a man. Huh. I swear on my lady Scarter. We're in a bit of a tight spot. I'm a huge fan of it. I need a Leo, right? I'll do as you ask. This guy drew pretty well. I shall not fail. Such a late fog. I don't think I have a choice. Like, I really didn't want to play this this round. But, like, I need to play a card. And this is going to be the card that I end up playing. No! No! <laughs> I need that! How do you draw so perfectly? Gimpy? Muzzle? Leo? All round one? It's like all hard counters. Ridiculous. Stupid. And she's so perfectly, it's really frustrating. I really don't want to play Ava Lock. Like, I could play Ava for guarantee round, but I'm hoping this is enough because we get two fog picks. Stupid. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Spale! He still has to play a nine out of hand. It's just like Sarah. There's no way he has Sarah and Ox in his hand because that's like cheating level of perfect draws. He used to play a nine. I don't think he has it. 
Lethosher, Oxer, whatever, you know what I mean. I guess Letho. Uh, Letho. Bye. Bye! He's play seven. Oh, I guess he doesn't, because his fog doesn't tick. That's enough. What are you shuffling back? Gimpy muzzle. Muzzle? I don't think you're gonna have a muzzle target. Okay. Am I getting pushed? There's no way. I mean, there is a way, but like... No door is close to me. Okay. Let us sing the song of steel! Did you draw muzzle off the top? Okay. If you had drawn muzzle off the top, I might have baby raged. I am who I need to be. Alright, well, we're a card up. I'm playing one of the two traps, I have to. Our liner plays trap trap dragon this. It actually doesn't matter. I need to play this last player on muzzle, and I don't want to play this early. I'm not like sure. Knowledge is the sole treasure worth seeking. Isn't his last card muzzle? Which means we should always win. I mean, I guess he didn't necessarily have to keep muzzle. Yeah. I don't know why he kept muzzle. It's kind of greedy. Sniping? I mean, maybe. I don't think so. We did it, boys. We broke the 2500, 2550 curse. Oh, yes. Poggers.